The first question we have is from Shalin Modi from UBS. Just in terms of your hedging policy, I'm just really trying to, to understand the, the reason for the change to the hedge policy. What we must understand is that with the hedging, this is really around our strategic intent around cash certainty. When we started with the program in 2016, it was really about securing margins in order to repay our debt. We did that. We undertook a a significant um, growth uh, path, which we do not believe we would have been able to do were it not for those gains that we realized with the hedges. So where we are now, if you look at um, where Harmony is, we want to be a little bit more selective in terms of limiting those opportunity cost losses so, and bearing in mind that we only hedge 20% of the production, so an 80% you benefit from full spot. Given where the current, the current forward is at 850,000 rand a kilogram, we want to lock in a 25% margin. That would mean the gold price currently should be at the 900 levels plus in order for us to lock in those good margins. Um, we published our hedging table as at the, at the 31st of December. You'll note that the average price on that book sits at about 892,000 rand a kilogram, which is higher than spot. And that's exactly what you want to achieve. I mean, in a low gold price environment, we suffer considerably more than our peers simply because of the nature of, of Harmony's business. So we are quite happy that the new way in which we're looking at hedges will address um, the challenges that we saw in the past. Why not just not have a hedging program at all? I just don't hedge. It goes back, Shilin, to having the cash when we need it most. So we are trying to lock in, in the event that the prices come down, then we've locked in at least an attractive margin on 20% of our hedges. If we would remember also that a specific thing that we introduced in this new way in which we hedge is the inflation on our cost. So what you would have seen in the way the program ran in the past is that our cost base crept up to, to the hedges that are now maturing. So, so you know, you're locking in losses effectively into the future. Since the inception of the derivative programs in the 2016 financial year, these programs have realized net gains of 159 million rand or 10 million US dollars. Going forward, we'll be more selective before entering into hedges only hedging when a margin of 25% above cost and inflation can be locked in. One thing I do want to emphasize is that our policy still remains in place, that being hedging up to 20% of our gold exposure over a 24-month period. Silver is 50% exposure over a 24-month period, and Forex at 25% exposure over a 24-month period. I think this revised way of how and when we hedge is quite nicely illustrated in the graph that you see on the left. Um, If you look at the current uh, market forward of 850,000 rand per kilogram, in order for us to achieve that 25% margin above cost, we would have to track the red line. So clearly, given where that forward curve is, we would not be hedging at these levels.